What if the longest lasting storm in the solar system isn't just a cloud feature, but a deep, warm, churning engine buried under Jupiter's atmosphere? Today, we dive into the Great Red Spot, how it works, how deep it goes, why it's changing, and the wild science that still has researchers scratching their heads. The Great Red Spot, or GRS, is an anticyclonic vortex, a gigantic high-pressure storm, wider than Earth and visible for centuries. It's been continuously observed since at least the 1800s and likely existed long before then, making it the most famous long-lived storm we know. At the cloud tops, winds around the GRS exceed 400 miles per hour, far stronger than any terrestrial hurricane. And these speeds have even increased slightly in recent years, according to Hubble analyses. One of the biggest revelations from NASA's Juno mission is that the GRS is not just a surface swirl, it plunges deep into Jupiter. Gravity and microwave measurements indicate the storm's influence extends hundreds of kilometers below the visible clouds. That depth means the GRS taps into dynamics far below the sunlight-lit layer, making it a three-dimensional engine, not a shallow weather pattern. A deeper storm can be fed by internal heat and deep circulation, which helps explain both its longevity and its enormous winds. Juno's microwave radiometer showed the spot is warmer at depth than at the top, linking thermal contrast to powerful jetting flows. This suggests the GRS draws energy from processes not visible from optical images alone. That amazing crimson hue likely comes from chromophores, complex colored chemicals produced when simple molecules like ammonia and hydrocarbons are broken apart by sunlight, lightning, or energetic chemistry, and recombine into reddish residues. Lab and spectral models point to photochemical products and possibly sulfur-bearing species as contributors to the GRS's palette. Although ancient and massive, the GRS is not static. It's been shrinking over decades, losing thousands of kilometers in width since the 19th century. And Hubble monitoring shows it even jiggles and shifts on timescales of weeks to months. Those changes hint at complex interactions with surrounding zonal jets and with smaller vortices that can nibble away at its edges. Studying the GRS is more than trivia. It's a natural laboratory for fluid dynamics, atmospheric chemistry, and how giant planets transport heat. Lessons directly applicable to other gas giants and to exoplanet atmospheres where deep flows and extreme storms may be common. The Great Red Spot is at once familiar and alien. A centuries-old weather system that reaches deep, burns warmer below, and still surprises us. If you loved this deep dive, hit follow. Next time, I'll break down how Juno's microwave X-ray of Jupiter works and what it tells us about the planet's hidden interior. If Jupiter can hold a storm for centuries, imagine what else might be hiding out there. Let me know your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe for more space mysteries.